Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch out. Oops, sorry, Vic. <laughs> oh, pff, kids. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> Don't worry, honey. It's only temporary. They're just putting it up for the kids' birthday party today. Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. Phew! <laughs> They've got a lot of kids coming over. stuff. of other fun things you can do. Really? What, for example? Well, uh... It's so unfair. I just want to see the party. I can't see. I can't see. Whoa! It's awesome. If only you could see this. Huh? produces a great quantity of hot gases that are subsequently fired into the jet engine fuel compressor.
successful and economical motors, commercial airplanes can reach speeds of 800 to 1,000 kilometers an hour. Wow, this documentary is very realistic. Eugenie, the moon! She's flying away! We've got to catch her! Yes! <sighs> it should be more quiet in the garden. Oh. Eugenie! We've got to follow her! We're going to do just like Eugenie. <laughs> Are we supposed to be flying now? This isn't working. Susie, you follow her. We can't let her out of our sight. moment. <laughs> Since mere balloons aren't enough, we're gonna become balloons. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Steer these things! Hey! Yeah? This works! Sam, just start swimming! <laughs> Excuse me, my fellow mammal, but you wouldn't have seen a cute little piggy, or, uh, I mean, a rabbit floating by, would you? Come on, guys, there's more flying stuff! Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with him? You think he'd never seen a flying pig before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotta find Eugenie! Where did she go? But have you seen us? Ah! Excuse me. Ah! That was rude. But also helpful. Look. Yeah. It's Eugenie. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. to get home. Eugenie, hang on. Yippee! How do you 
new friends with these things! here. And look how cute they all are, cuddling each other. Guys, please, remind me to never ever fly again. Ever. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes. Good question. No, not yet. But you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Oh, Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. Mm -hmm. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny! Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for <laughs> Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, 
no wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Watch out, girls! <laughs> yeah. Watch and learn! When I was a cub, our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you. I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... We... Hey, wait. <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to you chew... You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader! You'll freeze out there! This is what old animals do. We return to nature. I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, nope. oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we could use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tire ones. Get the decorative teaspoons. <laughs> Good for you, kids. You got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Of course. Only respectable thing. And go!
want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. <laughs> Even real rocks? Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's going to be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. Stop dropping rolls! You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh no! And the winner of the race will receive a year supply of pet food. A year supply? You? 
Please, they can't be serious. You know, I didn't really want to race. Until now. Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. <laughs> Alvarez! Hold! Oh. 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 
Wait! Hmm. Ah. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the racetrack go? Watch out! Are you nuts? Huh? Where are you going? I got you! <laughs> Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Absolutely. You're gonna help them. <laughs> you sure? Phew! <laughs> that was too close. Thanks, Vic. I never doubted you for a second. Not even for a second? Not for a single second. Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. <laughs> Shush it! You shush it! We 
one got to dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me, dig. I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here. Hello, lovely. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? Everybody stick together and follow me. Washington, I'm coming for you. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Uh, 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 uh. Not so fast, my little rodent friend. That year supply of pet food is mine. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. <laughs> you did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. <laughs> are the best. Yeah? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> woof, woof, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good! No fighting! To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Why? Are rotten eggs always late? Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? What should we play first? Hide and, and hog seek. seek! It's ah. like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me! But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh! Ooh! <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Hmm. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are. Excellent <laughs> high job, buddy. <laughs> Best friend, Poshek. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Poshik. They've been working on it for months. It's gotten out of hand. Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this. <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends Poshiks. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That's pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <gasps> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat yeah. and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh! Of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you ask like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not going to be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm going to have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. You can do this, Sam. You've seen Vic do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf! <coughs> Woof, 
Wolf! <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <clears throat> because you're fighting. You, hey! You're my enemy, cat. You, yeah! You make me so mad! <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! Bad Busty Man! This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry. I knew it. They are friends. What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we gotta get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just true. I'm still hungry. That's it. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Ha <laughs> ha I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm going to ruin it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sam, you must be so upset. Yes, I mean, no, I'm so sad I could cry. <laughs> Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's tanking, we got help him. <laughs> okay, Sam, don't move. Huh? <laughs> Them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here, have some catnip. You cats love it. You, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip? Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat, that wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? Oh, could you? See? Cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> Good one. Score what for cats? Hey, Sam. I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> 
think they forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend Pushik? No, it'll take too long. Can't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. <laughs> Must I do everything myself? <gasps> <laughs>I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Sam, he doing? Sam, oh, he's here. playing fancy fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts, why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha, <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. <coughs> There's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, do. Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous. You don't know what's down there. Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see. Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt. Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't <laughs> need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Sam al Oh! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh. You don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> 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 Oh no, Bunny, I'm sorry. I don't know my own strength. Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie, what happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? Well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay. 
okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her. Who's with me? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys, no time to sleep. We're coming for you, Eugenie. <laughs> She can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Or those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, are you the cutest? I could hug you all day! So fluffy! <laughs> if Sam mm -hmm. could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself! You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Eugenie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're going to kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody oh, in? Great. Yeah. We're almost there, buddy! Except for this locked fence! And humans everywhere! What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? <gasps> you need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Elfie's nice. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. Shh. Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're going to blow our cover. What if someone hears you? Then they'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, no. Where'd he go? No one move. He has a family. <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... Uh... The Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now are we gonna get Eugenie now? Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait! 
Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. <laughs> we have to get to Elfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? Elfie made it! I was worried sick about you! And you weren't lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <sighs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazam. Magic, make those bushes stop! It was awesome. The bushes were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee! Magic, help me move that tree! Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> it's you, huh? It's like your magic. <laughs> okay, enough is enough. If I can't have a simple nap on my own armchair, please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Wow. Or this. Ha! Wow. Or this. Big hurry. He's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home! Now there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, sweetie, you're the best! Now 
we can go out and enjoy life. I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right. Nothing is too good for my wife. Oh. Scanning, scanning, scanning. It's incredible. Diagnosis, filthy. You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico. Let's meet my new friend, Craig. I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I- Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty! Oh. What? A vacuum? Ah! No! Oh, wow! A vacuum! Uh, um, and how may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac... vac a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. <laughs> Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. dirty. <laughs> yes, I knew. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Nice, I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Is this normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Dirty. Dirty. Okay, Craig, I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. Come on, get those, you bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too!
We gotta find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into this house, you'd make him leave. Okay, look, I have other great plans. Just head out the door, forget the plan. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan. Dirty, this way. Come on. Dirty, dirty. Sam, we're good. Come on, quick. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! Oh, Dirty. Dirty. You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> There's nothing left to throw! Yes, there is! That! It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. <gasps> no, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You've got no choice, Wash. Farewell, Dream Home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, 
We'll have to keep our secret. Included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were fox? What does that even mean? Oh boy, let's have a red fox moon party! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red How moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh! <laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe, yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling! <laughs> Little bit too salty. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> Party people, we're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. <laughs> <sighs> Sam, enough. I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast. Go. 
come on. Seriously, I told you everything is fine. Nothing is going to happen. It's happening! A crazed, itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Meow. And cool outfit, by the way. <laughs> you like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy, twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time! Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, sorry, away Vic. from the Red Fox Moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry nine, again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, <laughs> Your cat because Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> you were? Hey, I guess you were. <gasps> Wait, my costume! <laughs> Is everyone okay? <gasps> arr, 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 arr. Good boy, Washington! You chased off that werefox, didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night, where a real-life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <laughs> that's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. <laughs> are they saying I'm an idiot? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? What's up with Sam? Oh no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. I thought we could find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. Yeah, that really worked great. 
Truffles! 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 Santa, please! Stop! <laughs> Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> no, no! I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near... Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> Wash. Thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch. What a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch. We're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No. <laughs> it's not for you right now. <sighs> it's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, showtime. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Okay. <laughs> Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> no 
honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! No! I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you little rascals are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Rush, my nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey Mitch, I know a great magic trick too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Truffles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appetit, little ones. <laughs> Deal about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Minnie! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid mail! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> 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 Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about! It's a letter from the vet! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait! Did he say letter from the vet? Yep. It's a letter from the vet, all right. See? That's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for Sean! Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. <laughs> cool. From my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? 
They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. No, oh, no, it was us. I mean you. Huh? Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we are in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this, I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh! Really? Yep. Otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great! Point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. <sighs> that little adventure should take all day. How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! <laughs> you. Hello, Baldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? 
What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Hmm. Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse, that bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Hey! Big Kitty is gonna be sick! <laughs> What's going on here? That's all for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. Oh, that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <gasps> of course! In my vet desk! Aha! Hmm? Ah! Bingo! Ah! Ah! Nurse! Help! That weird cat needs to be sedated right now! Like that. Yeah. Oh. Huh? What was that? Baldy. <laughs> and once again, my office, my shelter from the patients. <laughs> Hello, the Living Stones. All your wonderful pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sign. The vet. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheap drink, Mush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I read into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my houses all by the uh, Oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. 
you girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. some fun tonight. Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family. You'll see. <laughs> okay, come on. Tell me what it is. It's something no cat can resist. It's a laser pen. And not just any laser pen. It's the Phantom Red 3000. Let the games begin. <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time, you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dots. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. Sam, I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! Oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Dut! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! <laughs> red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> <laughs> Gone crazy. <laughs> Honey, 
I guess you don't want any of this leftover cookie dough. Huh? Oh boy, cookie dough! Gimme, 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 gimme! Red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! <laughs> red dot! <sighs> you can do it, champ! That dot is yours! Don't give up now, you're so close! Now listen to me. Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. I love this game. Dot, red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. <laughs> And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy. We gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot <gasps> be caught. Ah, wait a minute. I need your help.
<laughs> you did it, boy! At last! You are one special cat! <laughs> oh, boys. <gasps> Look, kids, Mrs. L's cupcakes! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. Stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, huh? Sam! Uh, go! No. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural barn comedian! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you. Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks. Wait! What is going to. <laughs> You ask him, now you. Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No, oh. for Fluffy and Nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Someone, please tell me what's up with Sam. Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, M G Washington. Oh, and <laughs> quick, Sam's in the computer. What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I 
Mister! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. Must be from one of my goof tube fans. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> And all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these. Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then, can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> huh? I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling! So he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's more! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. 
The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your oeuvre. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 Your fans will love it! Here like that, perfect. Here we go! Take. I didn't really catch it when you hit the steel girder the first time. <laughs> right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, watch. Sam, you can't do this to me. We've gotta make the third part of our trilogy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look, that's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at that! You holding Vic when she was a little kitten. I was pretty cute. And here's one of you and Vic. Ah, she's having her first piece of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Most of these are just of Vic. We don't have any nice new pictures with all our pets. A family portrait. Fantastic! Let's do something simple and cozy. Or we could take a humorous theme photo. A theme photo? Yes, you know, where we all pose like scuba divers or golfers. <laughs> well, that's just the opposite of simple and cozy. Oh, I know. We'll go to the forest and take a wildlife photo. Simple and rustic. The woods it is. We'll bring a picnic. Did she say woods? <laughs> Into the woods? Our old neighborhood? What if somebody we know sees us? That could blow our cover. <laughs> We'd never be able to come back. <laughs> you hear? We're going into the woods! <laughs> you guys are such big babies. It's not like you're gonna have to hunt for food. Mrs. L will bring you treats. Relax. It's not that. It's the dirt in your fur. The fleas in your ears. The pine needles in your paws. And the litter box. <laughs> we need just the right spot for the photo. Something with trees in the background. Oh, right here. This is the spot. And the light is perfect. Hurry, everyone. <laughs> Perfectionist. Come on, guys. It's picture time. OK, the faster we get this over with, the faster we get out of the woods. No pine needles, please. Oh, Vic, you have to at least come out long enough for the family photo. Uh... Come on, don't be so childish. No, no. 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 Oh. 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 
Okay, say cheese. Oh, missed it. One more time, guys. Cheese. Nailed it, gorgeous, yes. Except, there's a bear in the shot. I know. I just have to start... Keys. Uh -huh. Where are the keys? Oh, no. You left them on the picnic table. <laughs> hey, he's going to eat my picnic. <laughs> Sam, that's not a random bear, that's Mitch, our old neighbor. Ah, yes, I know that food smeared face and bad temper anywhere. What are we gonna do? I've got a plan. <laughs> I knew it, I knew you'd come up with something. For starters, we can't let Mitch see us with our costumes. Too many questions. Eugenie, Susie, you go that way. Distract the elf. Aye, aye, Sam. We can't let them see us without our costume. Okay, now wait. Well, that's as far as I got. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. Eugenie and Susie, there they are. Stay right here, Vic. We'll be right back. Hey, girls. Hey, Mitch! Washington, Sam! What are you guys doing here? The whole forest has been looking for you. We, uh, we were snatched. Snatched? Kidnapped by humans. <laughs> and that's where we've been the whole time. That's terrible! We gotta hide you before they try to take you back. No, wait. Uh, Mitch, we... The humans will hear you. Come on! Susie! Eugenie! Where are you guys? Okay, let's head back to base camp. The keys! That's it! Hey, but where are they going? are still here, but they disappeared. Mitch took them with him. What are we going to do? Take the basket. We can use it as bait. I'll take care of the costumes. Oh, finally. Huh? Hmm. Susie? Eugenie? I'm here. Ah! Hmm? Oh, you guys smell weird. Oh, yeah. They make us wash with this horrible stuff called soap. Hmm? Ew! That's gross! Finally back to the wildlife. Oh, ow! Yeah. My paws already miss fluffy carpet. Fluffy carpet? What's that? <laughs> oh, oh. Two! 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 Uh, hi. You okay? <sighs> Allergies. Too much fresh air. Those dumb humans made you guys soft. You gotta get used to the wildlife again. You probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should show us. What's wrong with your eye? Oh, uh, dust. <laughs> Forest dust. Like you said, I'm too soft. Hmm. Well, after all that, I'm hungry. Let's track down some treats like wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> Lift that 
rock. <laughs> I forgot how weak you two are. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the taste of home. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. <sighs> the things I do for this family. <laughs> you guys forgot how to deal with fleas, huh? Oh, hello, big boy. Now you do me. No, 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 no. It's your turn to deflee me. Yeah, let me make it easy for you. This time, I won't turn around. have to brush up on your scary attack poles if you want to try to fend off pesky humans. Okay? Attack poles! Ah, worse than I thought. I'll show you. It came from over there. Let's go. Yeah, got it. Thanks. <laughs> the keys! Ow! Oh, no! Watch and learn. You'll need this. No! Oh! My second basket of the day! <laughs> Where did Washington and Sam go? <laughs> they went that way? Thanks, weird dog. I owe you. <laughs> That was Washington and Sam. <laughs> Our darling pets. Thank goodness. Wait a minute. They liked those humans. They weren't kidnapped. They ran away. <laughs> Everyone say cheese! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Good one. For the seventh time, no! For the seventh time, why not? You're too little. Now, shh! For once, oh. he's right. Shh! Hello! Hello. We're, We're home! home. <laughs> what? Sam? You know, those two are becoming real slugs. They don't even get up anymore when we come home. What they need is some exercise, but not with me. 
What do you say we hire a dog walker? A what? A dog walker. A babysitter for dogs. But instead of sitting, you walk. Nowadays, they take cats, too. How modern! The walker could take them out when we're at work. Or when we're watching TV. Did you hear that, boys? You're getting your very own walker. Yay! Awesome! You have no idea what that is, do you? It's cool. I know that much. Maybe it's a kibble detector. <laughs> or a fried chicken dispenser. <laughs> Close. It's a car for extra smart pets like you. Your own car? car? Look at them. I think they know their new walker is coming. <laughs> Washington and Sam, meet your fantastic professionals. Gracie and Alfie. Gracie and Alfie? Are they your drivers? We're going to take you two on a nice long walk. <laughs> very funny, Vic. See you later, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. We'll be very professional. We're not allowed to cross the street. When you come to a corner, what do you do? Turn right. Isn't that the same house? us in this hole.
No! Cookies! Sam! Wash! Sam! Wash! Oh. I'm afraid. Uh, it was just a branch. Now, I'm really wondering myself what those little brats did all this time. I'll bet you a bajillion cookies the kids have gone home. So long, guys. See you soon. It's almost six o'clock. Where are my Gracie and Alfie? Oh! Oh! Hey, Wash, do you have this bajillion cookies on you? We'll find the children. They can't have gone far. This is only the fourth largest city in the country. You two, inside. Heard you lost the kids. Way to go. Ooh, ooh. That's some big time trouble wash. Yeah, everyone seems pretty upset. Uh, yeah, kids are like super precious to adults and stuff. Sam, we gotta find those kids before the adults do. But Mrs. L says- And your super snout will do the job. The path ends right here. Where could they have gone? There! Oh. On the ground! Mitch! He must have smelled the cookies and grabbed the kids! Oh no! That explains why they didn't come home! Mitch ate them! Not necessarily. Hopefully he still has cookies. But Sam, we gotta unzip. What? We're gonna rescue those kids. We gotta go in deep. And we can't risk our wild friends seeing Doggy and Kitty. Too dangerous. They'll try to eat us for dinner. We look delicious. <laughs> hey there, Wash. I'd offer you some cookies, but I ate them all. No problem, Mitch. We'll go get some. Sam, now would be a very good time to go home and get Mitch some more cookies. But how do I... Sam, yeah. now! Lots of cookies coming up. Hey, let's all play a game while we wait. Mmm, like what? How about hide and seek? We learned it in the city, but it's super simple. You go and hide in the forest and I'll try and find you. If I don't, then you win. Oh, I'm good at hiding. I'm gonna win. And for the prize, more cookies. Deal. <laughs> You'll never find me. And now, the kids. <laughs> What's up? One minute they're running after us, the other minute they're running away. Kids. Ah, my costume. Nice move! <laughs> wow, they're hard! These cookies are weird. They're diet cookies. They're made with wood flour. You can build a house with that. <laughs> Sam, you're naked! Duh, I know! Listen, Mitch has the kids. Mitch wants cookies. You get cookies to Mitch, you hear me? Easy! Oh, 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 oh! Wolf! Oh, 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 oh! Washington! Oh. I'd know that weird bark anywhere! Oh, how did you find me so fast? Washington! Oh. Gracie and Alfie? Mmm, -hmm. they're sweet, and I'm hungry. Gracie and Alfie? Blech! Don't you want cookies? Hey! Where are my cookies? Washington! Huh? <laughs> He did. 
No, where are they? They must be hiding. This time, I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so honey, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! <sighs> uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask uh... Plato and Alvarez. But 
But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of... Yeah... Something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes. A dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we work. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left, right and left, right and left. I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! <gasps> I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Oh, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You, Kate, whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> oh, 
right this to it. <sighs> the elves don't care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Yeah, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 